everybody, my name is Tracy. Welcome to Baby Storytime. I'm coming to you today from Saskatoon, which is on Treaty 6 territory and the traditional homeland of the Métis. So I just want to let you know that we're going to be using some scarves today for Baby Storytime, but if you don't have a scarf like this at home, that's totally fine. You can use a washcloth or some other piece of small fabric that you have laying around the house. And if all else fails and you have none of those things, you can still do the rhyme without it. It's all good. We're going to start, as we always do, with Hello Friends, which we're going to be doing in a mix of English and American Sign Language. The signs that we use, in case you don't know, are Hello Friends time and say. Well, so let's get right into it. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. And one more time. Hello friends. Hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. All right, let's move on to some body awareness songs. The first one is called, well, hello everybody, can you touch your nose? And you can um, help your child do the action by touching their nose and their toes and their bellies for them. But if they're old enough, they can do it themselves. So here we go. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Touch your nose. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Touch your toes. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Well, hello, everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head. Pat your head. Well, hello, everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head. Well, hello, everybody. Can you rub your tummy? Rub your tummy, rub your tummy. Well, hello, everybody. Can you rub your tummy? Rub your tummy. So let's do it one more time. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose, touch your nose. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Touch your toes. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Well, hello, everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head. Pat your head. Well, hello, everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head. Well, hello, everybody. Can you rub your tummy? Rub your tummy. Rub your tummy. Well, hello, everybody. Can you rub your tummy? Rub your tummy. Great. The next song we're going to do is called Eyes, Nose, Cheeky, Cheeky, Chin. And it goes like this. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. Cheeky, cheeky, chin. Eyes, nose. <laughs> One more time. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. Eyes, nose, cheeky, cheeky, chin. Cheeky, cheeky, chin, eyes, nose. So before we move on to our next section, I just want to share with you a quick literacy tip. And it's about singing. Um, singing is a great way to develop your child's early literacy skills. Um, music promotes language acquisition, 
um, listening skills, memory, and motor skills, if it has actions in it. And songs introduce new words that often rhyme and repeat, which makes it easier for your child to learn and remember them. So go ahead and sing as much as you can. It doesn't matter if you don't have a nice singing voice. It's okay. They don't care. Just have fun and um, enjoy singing with your child. Let's move on to some rhymes. And the first rhyme we have is called Mix the Bannock. And it goes like this. Mix the bannock, stir the bannock, pop it in the pan. Fry the bannock, flip the bannock, catch it if you can. Let's do it again. Mix the bannock, stir the bannock, pop it in the pan. Fry the bannock, flip the bannock, catch it if you can. And the next rhyme is called chop, chop, choppity chop. Sticking with a food theme today, this goes like this. Chop, chop, choppity chop. Cut off the bottom, cut off the top. What you have left, you put it in the pot. So chop. Chop, choppity chop. <laughs> Let's do it again. Chop, chop, choppity chop. You cut off the bottoms and you cut off the top. What you have left, you put it in the pot. So chop, chop, choppity chop. <laughs> okay, here's my favorite part of baby story time. It's lap bounces. And the first lap bounce we have is called Gregory Griggs. And it goes like this. Gregory Griggs, Gregory Griggs had 27 different wigs. He wore them up, he wore them down to please the people of the town. He wore them east, he wore them west. But which one did he like the best? One. Let's do it again. Gregory Griggs, Gregory Griggs had 27 different wigs. He wore them up, he wore them down to please the people of the town. He wore them east, he wore them west. But which one did he like the best? This one. All right, the last lap bounce is called We Bounce and We Bounce and We Stop. And it goes like this. We bounce and bounce and bounce and stop. We bounce and bounce and bounce and stop. We bounce and bounce and bounce and stop. And bounce your baby right to the top. Whee! And one more time. We bounce and bounce and bounce and stop. We bounce and bounce and bounce and stop. We bounce and bounce and bounce and stop. Bounce your baby right to the top. Whee! Okay, it's scarf time. Grab those scarves or washcloths or whatever you have. And we're gonna do a couple of little rhymes slash songs. The first one is called Leaves on the Grass and it goes like this. Leaves on the grass, leaves in the trees, leaves on the roof, but not on me. <gasps> and again, leaves on the grass, leaves on the trees, leaves on the roof, but not on me. Awesome. Let's move on to a song called This is the Way. It's a great one for bath time. And it goes like this. This is the way we wash our arms, wash our arms, wash our arms. This is the way we wash our arms when we're in the bathtub. This is the way we wash our legs, wash our legs, wash our legs. This is the way we wash our legs when we're in the bathtub. 
This is the way we wash our tummy, wash our tummy, wash our tummy. This is the way we wash our tummy when we're in the bathtub. Let's do it again from the top. This is the way we wash our arms, wash our arms, wash our arms. This is the way we wash our arms when we're in the bathtub. This is the way we wash our legs, wash our legs, wash our legs. This is the way we wash our legs when we're in the bathtub. This is the way we wash our tummy, wash our tummy, wash our tummy. This is the way we wash our tummy when we're in the bathtub. Let's slow things down with a lullaby. So get nice and cozy if that's something that's available for you and your baby today. If not, you can just sing a nice song to them, it's fine. Here we go, this is called the Cree Lullaby. And it goes like this. Sleep now, my baby. Sleep now, my baby. Sleep now, my baby. I love you a lot. Ne pa e kwa ni pa kim. Ne pa e kwa ni pa kim. Ne pa e kwa ni pa kim. Mr. He Kisika Hitan. Sleep now, my baby. Sleep now, my baby. Sleep now, my baby. I love you a lot. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for joining me for baby story time. We're going to end, as we always do, with goodbye friends, which is the same as hello friends, except we're going to wave goodbye instead of saying hello. Here we go. Goodbye friends. Goodbye friends. Goodbye friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Take care.